Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. Today I am going to discuss one more interview question related to Git. So guys, before that I have already discussed many other topics in Git which are very important from the interview point of view. So you can refer those videos as well to learn many other concepts related to Git and these videos will help you out to answer the questions related to Git in your interview. So you can get the link from the description and you can refer accordingly. So guys today's topic is how can we track empty directory in Git. So again I have taken a sample project and here I have a couple of files and folders. So let's understand the project structure first. I have one folder called empty. It doesn't have any file that's why I named it empty and uh, I have another folder that is named as non-empty because it has one file one text file and I have another text file at the root level so this is the simple project structure that I have now if I'll check status in git bash okay so here if you look at the the information that I am getting on git bash is non-empty file is listed and test2.txt is listed over here but empty folder which doesn't have any file over here empty folder is not listed by git so why so so that is our today's topic how can we track empty folder in git so empty folder means we have one folder in our project but it doesn't have any other files in it right and uh, same thing we can also check on github as well so i have one project over here and uh, if you notice we have an option to add file and here we get two option create a new file and upload files so here also we have all the options which are related to files only we don't have any option you know to create a folder or so but still uh, let's try to create one folder over here on github so create new file and let me give a name as an empty folder so that we can recognize it so i'm not giving any extension because this is folder name and uh, sample content and i'm just going to commit it to master branch so now if you notice empty folder is created but that is not a folder that is created as a file because any version control system is not supposed to track folders so it seems like the empty folder is not being tracked and uh, in github we saw like we cannot we cannot have a folder created whereas if you try to create a file then you can easily do i want to create one file under some folder so let me give a name as a non empty and uh, i want folder to be created with the name as a non empty and uh, inside that i want to have one file so if that is the case then we can do like ultimately our goal is to create a file not the empty folder so press forward slash over here and non empty now will be treated as a folder and give some name like test.txt type any content over here and uh, commit so now my test.txt is created and it is under non empty folder so let's go to root and here I have non empty folder. So this time non empty is created as a folder because inside that I have one text file. So that's the problem statement. Like how can we ask Git to track my empty folder present under my project, right? One thing we need to understand here is like that's the default nature of Git. All the version control systems are supposed to track files not folders because files are the one which actually have uh, actual code or actual information right folders are mainly used to organize those files to segregate types of files right so if folder is not having any files then for version control system empty folder is like not present in your project right so let's see how can we make it possible so guys there are no official solution for this problem because that is that is the default behavior of any version control system that version control system is supposed to track files not the folders right so there is no solution as such but industry expert has started adopting one solution for it so that is not basically the solution but that is some sort of hack that they use and that is the most popular one to make it possible to to make empty folder trackable so what it is 
so as per the standards what we can do is we can have one file created inside my empty folder so let me go to empty folder first and as per the industry expert we should have one file over here with the name dot git key so that is not something mandatory to have file name as a git key but that is the standard that people has started using it and now it is a kind of standard practice that everybody is following so we can have file with any name maybe some people use dot keep some use git keep because name itself suggests like okay this is the file which is related to git so we can have one file over here and uh, let me give a dot git keep and if i check here now i have a dot git keep file created under my empty folder and uh, if i'll check the status now then i will have that details over here let me go back git status so now i have my empty folder non empty folder and my text file which is present under project root directory right so as a standard practice we can have one file created inside your empty directory and now we are good to go so now we can add these files to my git staging area and uh, everything is added now so this file dot git keep or keep dot keep whatever file you create this will also be part of your repository going ahead unless and until you remove it so this is just a standard practice it is not a official solution because because git is not supposed to track any folder so that's why there is no official solution of it but as and when require we can have empty folder and we can have some sort of file over here and we are good to go and if i'll show you git official document git scm.com if you search git keep we are not getting any suggestion or keep no right so that's why i am saying it is not a official solution whereas if you search any other feature of git then we get a appropriate result and suggestion over here like i search for git ignore so now i am getting all the suggestions which are related to git ignore so guys many times people ask this question in interview so this question is mainly asked to check your git concept so if you know that you can answer it very well so that's it for today guys connect with me in case of any question or any doubt if you like the topics that i am discussing in my videos you can subscribe to my channel for many more learnings going ahead thank you